Our Dorothys have one foot on the West End stage. They're so close to that unbelievable prize. But what do Andrew and the panel make of this week's semi-final performances? Uh, Andrew, this is the last time you'll get to save a Dorothy. Next week, it's purely down to the public. How difficult will it be to choose between these girls? Well, it is difficult. I said last night that I really didn't want to choose between any of the four. There are very good reasons to vote for any one of these girls. Charlotte, I mean, if you were at home, imagine, imagine, you're at home, you're sat on your sofa, you were, how easy would you find to decide who to vote for? I, I don't think I'd have a clue. I really wouldn't be able to, to pick the girls apart. I think we've got four ridiculously strong girls in, in every area, and I think they're so individual. Like Sophie, they could all be Dorothy without a shadow of a doubt. Sophie's got a certain charm to her that I think would be amazing on stage. Lauren's vocals just blow me away. Steph is just brilliant, a complete all-rounder. And with Danielle's acting and how she brings that through in, in a vocal, in a song, is, is also just something really special. So I have no idea. Lucky you're here. Your phone bill would be enormous, <laughs> wouldn't it? Uh, thank you very much, panel. Now, each week, our Dorothys uh, have created a variety of wonderful Cotton Bleu mashups. But sadly, tonight is the last of the series, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I know. I know. First thing tomorrow, I'll be calling the mashup helpline. <laughs> Andrew, did you ever think you'd get to like mash this much? Well, last week had black eyed peas in it. I nearly swallowed a chipolata. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm trained in the Heimlich maneuver. You're fine. <laughs> Here with their final scoop of musical mash, it's our Dorothy's.